Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Double Tap here on YouTube. This week it's our annual holiday gift guide. Sean Priest joins us as we dive into some expensive and not so expensive ideas for people that are hard to shop for on your holiday list. The latest tech. People love iPhone and it's an important part of our daily lives. Interviews. We see far too many products that come on the market that you look at that you say, was a blind person ever even consulted for something like this? Accessibility. The most interesting thing over the last couple of years is the emphasis on gaming uh, and accessibility. This is Double Tap TV. Hey guys, welcome to Double Tap TV. I am Stephen Scott. And I am Mark Aflalo. Stephen, it's that time of the year again. It is, it is. It's a sleepy time. Yeah, nap time, isn't it? Uh, no, it is holiday time, silly. Ah, that must explain the uh, the snowflakes I'm, I'm virtually seeing around me and the jingle bells in the background. I just thought that was floaters I was getting. Um, okay, maybe that's snow. Okay, fine, <laughs> whatever. Uh, so, Mark, every year we like to come up with some gift-giving ideas so that everyone out there, um, you know, wonders, what on earth do I buy for that, te no, that techie person in my life? Well, we are going to hopefully help because, of course, the challenge for people like us and people who buy for us is that we've got everything. Well, exactly. And this is the perfect opportunity to bring in someone like Sean Priest, co-host of Double Tap Daily, and of course on AMI-audio. Sean Priest, welcome to the show, because he has always got some great ideas. Hi, Sean. Hello. How's it going? When you say great ideas, they're fantastic ideas, Mark. I don't know what he means by that, Stephen, <laughs> do you? I have no idea. Well, you'll find out. Okay, so how do we want to do this? Should we, should we break this down into some kind of categories or something? I think that's a smart move. Okay, so maybe let's let's start with the home because there's lots of ideas for the home, whether it's smart home stuff or just things for the home. And, and especially if you look at this past year, so many announcements, especially in the in the latter half of the year, that I think we can talk about. Yeah, but price, right? This is the thing, and this is why we've got Sean on because we want to talk about you know low cost items so we can appeal to people <laughs> who have less money. Uh, Sean, uh, any suggestions for us? <laughs> yes, I am the budget tech guy. Um, well, actually, when it comes to the home, see, you're all thinking I'm going to go smart speakers, which I usually do, but I'm not because I've bought something this year, last year, actually, I think it was, that's changed my life. And that is, of course, the air fryer. It's amazing. Now, I, the reason I'm bringing it up now is because the cost of energy nowadays, doesn't care what country you're in, the cost of electricity is rising and rising. And an air fryer can really make a difference. People have been buying so many of them because they, it makes the um, the cost of cooking much cheaper than heat in a whole oven. I picked up a Cook's Essential. It's from QVC. And it's got just four buttons on it. Really easy to learn. You can put some bump-ons on it if you really want to. Nice and cheap. It's not going to cost the earth. And it, it's honestly, it's made things so much easier. It's safe to use. I don't have to worry about you know cooking fat and, and things catching fire. It's so simple. And also, if you can find one, there are smart air fryers on there. Of course, I've gone to Smart Tech as well. You can get one called the Pro Scenic T22, which has uh, an app, and also you can use your Amazon smart speaker to control it. Now, I haven't used this myself, so I have no idea how accessible that is but there are options out there when it comes to smart air fryers as well. So definitely check those out. I love how you went directly to the energy savings and all this other oh, yes. great detail, but never talked about the health benefits, right? The not frying yeah, I don't care about food. <laughs> yeah. It's no, it's not about the health. You know, clearly, clearly that's it's all right. about no, the money. Who cares? Who cares? But actually you bring up an interesting point, Sean. And again, we don't say that very often. So uh, it is a holiday time. We're being nice to each other. But actually, you do bring up a good point here, which is that simplicity sometimes is the answer, right? You know, we can have all the greatest tech in the world, but a lot of that tech isn't accessible, especially in the kitchen. Yeah, absolutely. Push buttons and dials are your friend in the kitchen. Now, it is getting better. You know, smarts are coming in. We're finding more smart speaker integration and app um, control as well. But still, I find, you know, if you want truly accessible, dials and push buttons are your friends. 
Stephen, I remember when I went to Scotland and I came to visit you, we set up your studio, and one of the things I noticed in your house was your robot vacuum, your iRobot Roomba. Well, oh, mm, I have a, a yeah. gift idea for someone. If you want to spend a little bit more money than Sean's willing to spend, okay, because this one comes in around 1399 Canadian. I know, I know, but you have loved ones that you buy what? that stuff for, right, don't you? Maybe you buy it for your wife or something so that, you know, she can have it so you can really use it. Oh, yeah, that's that's, that's going to be a great present. Yeah, 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 darling, here, have have a robot vacuum. I buy. I like to buy her stuff that I know I want so that I'll end up using it. Anyhow, listen, iRobot has a brand new Roomba. It's called the Combo J7 Plus. As I said, $13.99, a little bit pricey, I know. But listen, we're busy. You don't want to deal with carpets. You don't want to deal with rugs. What about hard floors? Well, this one's a vacuum and a mop combined. Not only that, it's got the poop guarantee, so it's not going to pick up the dog poop. It's going to avoid obstacles on the ground. And when it hits the carpet or the rug, it's going to lift that mop up, so it's not going to get your carpet all, all wet with the mop feature. Of course, it's smart enabled. You can use the app to control it. You can schedule it. All that fun stuff. And of course, you can use that with your brand new Fire TV Cube. Amazon's media player that plugs into your TV. That's only $139.99, okay? There's, there's something cheaper. Mm, okay, all right, all right. Well, I'll give you that, I'll give you that. Do you want to know what I've been buying myself recently, which I think yeah. is a great present? No, you're not allowed to laugh, okay? So, on best behavior, no mm. laughing. You're talking to me or Sean? Both of you. Okay. Um, <laughs> a label printer. What's wrong with that? Why would I laugh about that? Oh, thank you. Exactly. This is a great thing. Now, for a lot of people... It's incredibly nerdy. It's not nerdy, right? How many how many times are you sending out parcels? How many times are you sending out letters to people? Uh, if you're doing that, you want to be able to do it, and you want to be able to make sure that the label you're printing out is legible. Now, I don't know about you, Sean, but I don't write much anymore. So for me, having something like a, an actual label printer can really help. Now, there are lots of them out there. Some of them actually have built-in QWERTY keyboards. You can actually type out on the device. Uh, Dymo, I think, do these kind of things as well. Uh, you get the little ones you can type onto the device and it'll print out the label, but they're not accessible. They're not much use to us. If you use a screen reader, if you use a PC uh, or a Mac, you'd be able to hook up the one I've got, which is the Brother QL600. Now, it comes in at around $120. It's a really cool little device, and it's just a tiny little printer. And, of course, you have accessible software through the P-Touch editor software that comes with it. Uh, it's I say accessible. It's accessible enough to print a label out. Let's not go much further than that. But you can certainly print out labels with it. And, you know, you can set up a template for a specific size of label so that you're able to go off and do it. It'll even cut the label for you. It is super cool. Prints it out, cuts it off, little snip, and then you just tear it off the adhesive and bang, right onto the parcel and off you go. That is what I call a brilliant present. I think I'm going to come in with a couple products that are actually under the $100 mark, maybe even under the $50 mark, and I might even beat Sean at his own game because you say that he has all the cheap ideas. Well, guess what? Belkin Wemo Smart Plug. This is like $39, and it makes any device that you plug into it smart. Why wouldn't you get that for somebody? Or get them a couple of them. They even make an outdoor one. It's a perfect sto you know, stocking stuffer. It's great for under the tree. It's success. I'd say go buy five of them, you know, go buy five of them, throw them in that secret Santa box. Come on, this is a great solution and really inexpensive. Yeah, Sean, go out and buy five of them. Of course, I mean, who can argue with that? Absolutely true. Smart plug is the first step in a smart home. And uh, of course you can turn things off with your voice nice and easy and save electricity, saving money. Perfect. Let's take a quick break, guys, and come back. And let's switch categories. I want to I want to dive into some other stuff because I actually have some stuff here. Plus, you know what? Some of the stuff I got here, I'm going to be giving away. Along, well, we'll be giving away. Okay, so do stick around. It is Double Tap TV. You're watching Double Tap TV. Get involved. Follow us at Double Tap On Air or email us feedback at doubletaponair.com. Double Tap TV will be right back. 